Welcome to the Using Haml with Rails 3 screencast. Today we'll cover how to use Haml in a new Rails project, how to integrate it into an existing project, and how to convert any pre-existing ERB templates into Haml. If you're new to Haml, we recommend you first watch our Introduction to Haml screencast, available on screencasts.org. Let's first create a new project. To do this, we simply type Rails New Store. Now, let's go into our gem file and add the line gem haml-rails. When installed, this gem includes haml as a dependency along with a series of generators for scaffolding, mailers, and controllers. Next, we run bundle install to install the gems in our gem file. Then, we type rails generate scaffold product, the name of our model, then name colon string, our first attribute name, which is a string, then price colon float, our other attribute, which is a float. Then we see that all of the expected views are being generated, but now they're being created in Haml as opposed to ERB. Now the only thing left to do is convert our application.html.erb to Haml. You don't have to do this since Haml and ERB do play nicely with each other. However, if you want to go Haml all the way, you can convert this one of two ways. To do it manually, remove all of the file's HTML and ERB markup and replace it with Haml. Also, be sure to rename the file extension from .erb to .haml. The other way is to use a command line tool which takes us on to our next section, adding Haml to an existing project. Here we have another store application, but this time it was built with ERB. Like before, we add the haml-rails gem to our gem file, and then we run bundle install. We should now have a command line tool called HTML to Haml. There are some dependencies we'll have to install for HTML to Haml to work properly, and you'll see why shortly. These dependencies aren't included automatically since the standard conversion direction is Haml to HTML, not vice versa. So we'll now add the following to our gem file in the development group. The three dependencies are hpercot for HTML parsing, Arubis to parse ERB, and Ruby parser to parse Ruby code. We don't need to include Arubis here since that's already included as a dependency of Action Pack. We run bundle install to install these gems, and now that they're installed, we can do the conversion. We change the directory to app slash view slash layouts and type HTML to Haml space application.html.erb. As you can see from the console output, we've converted the application.html.erb file from HTML and ERB to Haml. Now we can output this into a file using redirection. If we use the greater than symbol after a command, we redirect the output into the file name given. So we now have a file called application.html.haml that contains the newly converted Haml from our original ERB file. Now, of course, this can be time consuming going into each directory to rewrite every page. So instead, let's make something that will recursively look into our app slash views folder and rewrite all of our ERB files as Haml. There are bash scripts out there, but just copying and pasting one and hoping it works isn't a practice we'd advocate. Also, since Ruby code is more familiar to us and more readable, let's write a rake task to do it ourselves. The HTML to Haml code uses the Haml HTML class, and as you can see, it requires those three gems we mentioned earlier to function. So in order to create Haml from HTML, we pass in a string of HTML as the first argument to the constructor with the ERB value set to true. Then, we call render to obtain the Haml, which can then be saved to a file. Okay, so here we have a custom rake task already set up in lib slash tasks called hamlfi.rake. Here's the code that we've already prepared. First, we need to require the Haml HTML class. Then we need to cycle through the ERB files in the views folder. We then create a Haml file name variable to store the location of the new Haml file. We check if it already exists, just in case someone else has already done this conversion. If it doesn't already exist, we open the ERB file to convert, then pass its contents to the converter to obtain a string of Haml. 
Then we write it out to the new Haml file location and delete the old ERB file. Before running this task, it's important to note that we should always use a version control system just in case things don't go according to plan. In other words, when you're potentially deleting all of your view files, it's good to have a rollback strategy. So let's run this task by running rake hamlfy convert. And as you can see, it has hamlfied all of our views. And that's it. So now you're up to speed on incorporating Haml into new and existing Rails 3 projects. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our RSS feed, follow us on Twitter, and please leave any comments, questions, or suggestions for new screencasts in the comments below. If you like our videos and think your friends, followers, or colleagues would benefit from seeing them, please feel free to share via any of the links below the video. We really appreciate your support. See you next time!